All right, hello and welcome to the final weekend of the divisional round with Austin at Columbus. A lot of games have unfolded this season. A lot of results have <laughs> blown some people away. But this is what the current Pacific state of the playoffs look like. Portland falling to San Antonio due to an unfortunate back injury to Ryan Davis. Not something I think anyone wants to see in this league. Definitely doesn't make the playoffs any more fun and didn't make the game any more interesting. Though I will say Ragusa definitely a lone bright spot in that game. Then of course we have Columbus and Austin. Today, the winner or loser will determine San Antonio's fate. If Columbus wins... San Antonio must go to Columbus, but if Austin wins, Austin must travel to San Antonio. Alternatively, we have wrapped up the Atlantic side of things, Virginia Beach mopping up Wichita, and of course, St. Louis just crushing Orlando. Both the one and two seed will face each other in the Atlantic Championship. Should definitely be an interesting game. To begin this segment, though, before we go in, uh, there were some media picks, read options, saying that Columbus was going to, or is going to blow out Austin 45-9. to nine. And, of course, Mr. Cole picking Austin 26-24 to 24 in a very close game. A lot of field goals for Austin and a very good defense for Austin. So we'll see how these pick'em podcasts go as far as, of course, the results of all of them. You can see that we were close on some... And far on many others. So, a bit unfortunate. But, it's the way of the game. Go ahead and head on over to our expert picks. As we see that Columbus has a 52% chance of winning. So, a darn near even game with Danny and James taking Columbus. And Joe and Dave taking Austin. All of them taking blowout fashion except Danny, who will have it at an 11-point game. This should be interesting. And welcome to the Train Depot, the home of the NAGA. It's a wonderful night, some light wind, no determining weather, I should say. As Austin choose heads, but Columbus will win the toss, and they choose to receive. Austin will be getting the ball in the second half. And of course, we're going to go ahead and pop up some graphics for those of you who do not know how this type of broadcast works. As the kick is deep, and Ellis will be returning it to a nice return. 25 yards. That'll add 5 yards into the special teams for Columbus. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this QB comparison real quick while we watch Washington survey the field. I mean, every single category, Washington dominates. So, it should be an interesting offensive game. It's Chambers taken out to the right. Gain of 7. This should definitely be an interesting game. Austin, known for <laughs> playing above their weight class, and Columbus, known for dominating, grinding it out, assuring victory. And a seven yard gain is the best way to start it off. As Washington will play action, dump it off to Michaels for an easy first down, gain of four. And, of course, we should obviously go ahead and took a look at Mr. Ricky Chambers, the man in the backfield, number 25, ranking top five in the most important categories. <laughs> While not even being near the top on attempts, there's a flag down, ball thrown to number 13, holding on defense. Oh. Columbus will lose Mr. Michael's wide receiver, number seven, but he is expected to return. So it should be interesting to see how this drive continues. Chambers in the backfield. Washington in a motion number 88. Thompson to the right. Chambers with a good run. Gain of seven yards, second and three. Knocking on the door of the 50-yard line. Take one more look at these stats. I mean, 1,300 yards, nine touchdowns, only one fumble. And, of course, top 10 receiving yards as well, so it's quite a dual threat. 
Just watch that's gonna hit Chambers. Chambers getting an easy first down. Taken down after a gain of five, and we are already two minutes into the match. First and ten, Mr. Ricky Chambers, three of 19. Washington right. motion now to the right, gonna hand up to Gaddis. Gaddis pushing forward. Taken down after a gain of two, maybe second and eight. And what more can you say about this Columbus offense besides the fact that they are quite talented across the board? Of course, obviously their quarterback doing it all. Putting the ball where it needs to be. Four-man rush. He's got all day. He's going to bomb it. That's going to be an easy catch for Brown. 43-yard gain, number 29. Just not knowing where his feet are. They're letting the man get behind him. That'll be a first and goal from the one. Columbus going to punch this in more than likely for seven points to start the game. Washington motions Brown to the inside. Back to pass. It's a massive blitz. Washington gets away. Now step inside for the touchdown. Six points on the board. Washington now moves forward. With one touchdown on the ground. And a 100% completion rate for 47 yards. As Montgomery kicks this one up and away. Just a little over three minutes into the first quarter. As Columbus notches their first touchdown, Montgomery going to boot this one deep. And of course, if you remember the Pick'em podcast, as we watch Carroll return, as he is taken down, we'll bring that graphic back up here in a moment. Columbus 45, Austin 9 for Mr. Reed. Cole having a 26 to 24 stat line, so... A little bit on track, just three more touchdowns and a field goal for Columbus. And two touchdowns, and I believe six field goals or four, and that is a wide open Randall Young just clotheslined for after a gain of nine. Go ahead and take a look at Mr. Randall Young. It does have to be noted that he has not had any starts as the starter outside of today's game, so a lot of these stats must be taken with a grain of salt outside of the touchdowns and fumbles. As Travolta under center, second and one. They're going to hand up to Young. Young with not a chance. Loss of two. That's Edwards. Austin might be looking at a more convenient type of play here, trying to get any sort of momentum. Obviously, you don't want to give the ball back to Columbus, but the defense has been known to step up when needed. As Speakman off to the right. Young, oh, one man to beat. is unable to. That'll now be fourth and three. Tavion Harper and Shatuck, number three, in for the stop. And we have just over five and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. <laughs> of course, Austin can't stop getting in their own way. It'll now be fourth and eight. So this punt now will be required to be an even longer boot. Belts with the ball. He's going to punt that one massively behind the 20. Arthur gaining it just a shy ahead of the 20 yard line. He's going to be taking down the 28 yard line. And Columbus will set up shop once again. Looking to potentially move around and prevent this Columbus offense getting pressured. Number 92, loss of six yards, and that's Kearns. A swing back play, the loss of six blitz, all out blitz. Of course, Columbus running right back up to the line as fast as they can. Second and 16, probably gonna bomb it deep, and they're looking for a delayed blitz. Hit as he throws. 24 with the swat away. Third and 16. It's definitely one of those interesting plays. Again, we're gonna go ahead and pull up the quarterback comparison. I mean, that's all you need to know, right? 2,500 yards, 21 touchdowns, only three interceptions on the year. Seven touchdowns to one interception. Michaels with an incredible catch. Coming back from injury, that's a 27-yard gain. 25-yard gain, apologies. 
It'll be two yards shy of the 50-yard line. That's Columbus now under center. At the 48. Washington hand off to Chambers. Chambers pushing forward, hurtling him in. Gain of five yards. Definitely probably the, the most effort I've ever seen put into five yards outside of a Gooden or BJ Austin style run. So Washington now will motion the man to the outside. That is Ellis, number 13. Washington back to pass. Four man rush. I mean, he has all day and then some. 24 going for the interception. Unable to come down with it. It's now third and five. And San Antonio is all but one play. San Antonio Austin is all but one play away. It's two Texas teams. I mean, they might as well be the exact same team the way they play. Riding the defense to victory. And now it'll be a third and ten. So this will push Columbus back into a pass option. So this could set up Columbus for me more favorable attempt. They've been running the ball well. But they've also been throwing the ball incredibly well, so this could look for a deep route, and it will be four yards. Chambers, first down. 11-yard gain. Well, it seems as if you're Austin. You kind of want Columbus to be a bit more on the rushing side of things. If you can get Washington to hand the ball off a bit more, might have more success. Obviously, you can see Jalen Washington. Four of six for 84 yards. There is a flag down. Could be holding. That is a gain of six. And it is, so that'd be first and 20. And they're backed up behind the 50 yard line. This could definitely be a boon for Austin. Have to remember Columbus converting on almost every single drive when they pass. In fact, they have converted on every single drive when they pass, so. A pitch out to Chambers. Interesting enough, Chambers. Dodging, avoiding mosh pick, can keep going. Gain of 10 yards, pulling something out of nothing. My goodness, delayed blitz from the secondary and the linebackers. Definitely not a good look for the Austin defense. Now second and 10, almost as if they just threw a simple incompletion, but now you've got the momentum of a 10-yard gain on it. So pitching out to Chambers. Chambers got all the grass in the world. They're gonna mosh pit him forward again for five yards. Now third and five for Shaw Gaddis now coming in. This Austin defense giving up a lot of yardage. And unfortunately, they've already given up a touchdown as well, so you can't really say anything about the bend but don't break method. As Washington now motions Ellis to the inside, back to pass, delayed blitz coming. There is a flag down, deflected down, going for seven. Oh. Got two things going on. Trimble, offensive line number 72, is not expected to return due to knee injury. And Austin held on that play. <laughs> so, give and take there. As Washington will now motion number 19 Brown to the inside. Chambers with a stiff arm. Chambers pushing forward a gain of 10 yards. And that'll be first and 10 of the 21. Rashad Gaddis will now come in. Ricky Chambers, 7 for 49, 1 reception, 2 targets for 12 yards. Definitely a stat line to behold. If you're an offensive coordinator, you can almost do anything you want, really, as long as you get the run game involved. And Washington's going to launch that into quadruple coverage. No attempt for an interception for some reason. That would definitely have set you up pretty well at the 20-yard line. Jalen Washington, just shy of 50%. Hovering right above it. As Michaels will be motioned out to the left. Washington off to Gaddis. Gaddis with a massive hole, but he'll only gain eight yards. Ricky Chambers now coming in. Although my previous statement was maybe you need to get Columbus into a run situation. Well, as you can see down there, they've ran for 30 plus yards apiece in both the pass and run games. I don't really know what you can do here. Washington back to pass. Four man. Oh my goodness. Booze raining down. So everyone wanted a run, which, to be completely honest, I mean, you know, you run for five times and gain 38 yards. There's no reason you shouldn't run it there. Almost five minutes taken up. And with that P8, well, with that field goal, 30 yard field goal by Mr. Montgomery. That will have been a five-minute drive. So I believe Columbus 
has now taken the equivalent of somewhere around eight minutes of the 10 minute quarter. 80% of this game has been Columbus. 20% of it has simply been Austin trying to do something on offense. Carroll, nice evasion there. 24 seconds left on the clock. First and 10 of the 24 yard line. Definitely missing Flowers is a huge, huge blow to this offense. Being able to take on this. And of course, then you get a false start from your tight end, Connor Ferris, and that'll be first and 15. So now not only are you having to deal with a situation of dealing with a rookie running back, but now you're having to tell him, hey man, we're at first and 15, and we're going to have to pass to you potentially. But Austin's lined up as if they're going to run it. This will be interesting. Young to carry, and that's just not a good call at all. It's a loss of three. That'll be a TFL by Orsini, number 56. And that'll start the second quarter. Second and 18 now. It's Michael Orsini now with two tackles today for Columbus. Not a lot of defensive stats today for Columbus. However, Young, gain of two, so third and 16, but got to wonder if Austin is potentially just trying to be conservative, which I don't really understand. Your defense has let them score both times, so if anything, you're going to let them go up by two scores. Officially, Travolta over the middle. And Blackman unable to come down with that one. And that will for sure be a punt. And Columbus could be looking to put up seven points here now. As Belts with the ball, he will now punt it back to the 30 my goodness and Arthur trying to return get past number nine he will not first and ten of the 38 and that's quite good field position it's definitely a lot of situations that you're looking around here at you're looking at Terrence Flowers missing but you also look at the Flowers or the Chambers and the Washington connection here both on a good mind sink as Chambers first on the right side Finally taken down, loss of three. Gain of three, apologies. You gotta wonder, is it possible to beat a playoff caliber team that's the number one seed who has the quarterback and the running back in a mind sink, right? Where they're sinking together, where Chambers knows exactly the places the quarterback wants him to go. They know the exact type of run plays. The quarterback knows exactly what the defense is. He doesn't have to mention it to the running back. They can both see the exact same things. That's really difficult. That's having two quarterbacks at once, especially when they just hand it off, as they have now twice in a row. This will be third to Paul, and that will be their first punt of the day as Nava comes up with a crucial TFL. That'll stop Columbus with getting an easy score, and this might change things. Go! And this could be the punt of the playoffs and that's at the one yard line oh my goodness you get a TFL but at what cost this could be tricky Travolta back with Young and they're in end zone Travolta back to pass pressure is coming he's going to launch it Woodward with a good catch gain of 11 yards Michael Travolta getting the crucial first down and that will breathe some <laughs> relief for the Austin sidelines. It's Travolta, back under center. Back to pass, four-man rush. Had a free defender, but now not Young. Just a yard shy. Gain of nine yards on the pass. Austin finally being able to move the ball down the field. Although Columbus has a statistically and categorically elite defense as Young gets TFL'd for a loss of one. You also have to remember that there's a reason Austin is in the playoffs, right? All these teams are capable of beating one another any given day. As Tev Tevin Edwards now with his second tackle. Of course, I wouldn't be shocked if Young, never mind, it's now an uh, empty backfield. Travolta back to pass. He's going to launch it. Huh. Tried to throw it to Terrence Carroll. I think the right call there would have been a run to the left. But what do I know? And that will be a punt for Austin. Despite stopping Columbus, this will be the third stop Columbus has gotten this game. Belts now with another punt. 
Arthur getting the return, looking to get to the 40, and he'll be taken down to the 37, it looks like. And they'll mark him down to the 37 and a half. So now Austin's defense must once more step onto the field and attempt to get another stop. As now they motion the fullback Paul out to the left, back to pass. Four-man rush, delayed blitz from the linebacker, gonna throw it, 25 in good coverage. Second and 10, which should have been an obvious first down, 35-yard gain comes up short. Jalen Washington now falling short of 50%, four for nine, 84 yards. Washington motion Michaels out to the left, back to pass. He's got all day and he's gonna launch it. And that is quintuple coverage right there. As Washington now falls to 4 of 10, 40% completion rate, though I must say the stat line is a bit misguided. It's Washington back to pass. This could be a first down. Oh, he dropped it, number 89. Unfortunate. That'll be another punt. Austin, once again, door is creaked wide open. Unless the punter of Columbus can cough and punt again. Here we go. Tonkin with the punt. Oh, just not enough leg this time. Seems like he put it all last time. Vincent taken down by number 13, Ellis. Austin will start at the 22-yard line. <laughs> this is about as good field as they're going to get all game. And this will be their best drive to date. Here we go. Travolta under center. Young in the backfield. Number 80, Blackman, the tight end, off to the right. Going to hand off to Young. Young, oh my goodness, number 53. Immediately beat off the block by Dre Leathers, the greatest interior lineman of the league. Oh, you just can't be having that. Go. No use. Interior, he was a defensive end, but they pushed him to the inside. Young will gain five yards. It'll be third and seven. That speaks to the talent of Dre Leathers. Best interior, exterior lineman. I mean, you just, oh, it's hard to cover and block a man like that, especially for number 53. 78 and 53 are going to have their hands full, but now it's going to be 70 and 79 as he's flipped over to the left side of the line. Go! As Young now gets a carry off to the right, and Young, oh, just one man to beat, unable, will be fourth and five. Number 70, Alatunji now has been injured. He will not be expected to return. That Dre Leathers <laughs> put him in a literal blender. Hike. As Belts punts it away. And Arthur with the return. Austin taking them down. Number nine, Speakman once again. Downs him at the 32, first and 10. Columbus did start pretty hot. However, unfortunately for them, they've cooled off in the last two drives. But fortunately for them, Austin has done nothing all game. Washington motions Thompson uh -huh. onto the right. Fakes the handoff. Washington looks for a wide open Ellis. Linebacker who made the stop was quite keen to turn around. I think if he had taken two more steps too far, it would definitely been an issue. Jalen Washington, 5 for 12 now. Trying to pick back up to that 50%. He's going to motion Paul back down to the left. He's going to hand off to Chambers to the right. Chambers gaining only one yard. Number third and five. They'll actually say there was no gain. Definitely an interesting situation. As Columbus now. Third and five looking to get this first down. Austin looking to get, to get another stop. This could be pivotal for Austin. Tonight. Washington. Play action. Launching it deep. Ellis with an incredible catch from 29. And I think that's what's going to be breaking the camels back in this game. I think if Austin had gotten that stop, not much would have changed. But you let Columbus get another score in, uh, it's too difficult. Washington motioning Paul back down again. And Chambers this time gets the handoff. There's no play action this time. Gain of five yards. Second and five. Gaddis now coming in. I think Columbus is very keen on draining the clock as much as they can. Trying to get out of this first half after all the blunders they've made in the second portion. Gad is pushing forward for three yards on third and two. Chamber is now coming in. I think Austin is also okay with that, trying to keep them to a field goal. 
there's the hope that you can score at least two touchdowns. You can go up by one point, but at this point, I think it's not going to be too well. Washington's probably going to throw this pass here, so he will. Four-man rush to wide open Ellis. He dropped the pass. Should have been a walk-in touchdown, and Austin will hold them to a field goal. That's Montgomery now. Ready for the kick. He's going to kick it. Oh, is it? Oh, it's just good. 47-yard field goal, though I... I don't, I don't think that should have been good. <laughs> I definitely think that wasn't, now that I look at it. That was definitely a missed field goal, but I'll go ahead and count it. Austin now needing both touchdowns, no longer a field goal. Three minutes. What can they do? Carroll trying to push forward. Carroll with the spin move, but unable to get much up after that. They now have three minutes and ten seconds. So far, not so good. This Austin offense performing just as they did last week, minus the defensive touchdown. It's Travolta motion Carroll to the inside. And a handoff to Young. Young pushing forward, gain of two yards. He's second and eight. And they will be draining this clock. They will unfortunately tiptoe very near that two-minute warning offense, which we all know is just going to sit here for seven minutes and drain us of our lives as Travolta back to pass. He's got all day. He's going to launch it off to Blackman. Blackman, no gain. Third and eight. That is not what you want to see, especially with a delayed blitz from the secondary. Seems as if they had perhaps flipped the play to the right. Could have been a wide-open play. In the middle of the field, Travolta back to pass. He's going to launch it. There is a flag down. First one we've seen a while holding, so that'll now give an automatic first down for Austin. And this, unfortunately, will take us to the two-minute warning after this play. And we will be in two pass, one rush, one rush. Uh... Well, situation. I'm trying to find the word. Unable to find it. Travolta back to pass. He's got all day. He's going to launch it to Carroll, who gets his first catch of the day. Eight yards. And we are now into the two-minute warning. One minute, 59 seconds remain. And what I meant to say was we are entering the two-pass, one-rush territory. As Travolta now will throw two quick passes. Inevitably them being dropped, and then they will rush it. Travolta back to pass. Launch it. Like I said, oh, it's intercepted by Shatak. That's what happens when you get your offense anywhere near the 50-yard line, anywhere not near the 50-yard line, and you go into two-minute offense. So now Washington will throw two quick passes. They have a higher chance of completing these passes, though. So Washington back to pass. He's going to throw it immediately off his back foot, and that will be deflected. So that interception won't really do too much uh, in the grand scheme of things. It will show up on the stat sheet, but... You throw it in the two-minute warning, that's kind of like throwing it at the end of the game up by 40, right? Okay, you threw an interception, but did it matter? And it doesn't, because Washington now has thrown his interception to Sharp. This will put Austin in potential field goal range, as we have now traded back-to-back -back interceptions on these drives. And... I mean, if anything, if you think... If they score points off of this, you have to think about the smart... 4,000 IQ play that Travolta did here, and he just threw another interception. Hard for now, but there is a flag down. <laughs> of course, offside, so that'll be first and five. So, Arthur loses his interception. And what could have been the brilliant back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back interception drive, but we will not get that. Perhaps we'll get that here soon. There's Travolta now motions Carroll to the inside, back to pass. He's surveying, and Young drops the pass, so they will be on the edge of field goal range still. So we have a potential for Austin to gain three points here. Unless, of course, they throw in reception. They are lined up to run the ball. I will be shocked if they do. Travolta back to pass. And, of course, <laughs> thrown right to two defenders. And here comes the run now, because... You're in the two-minute offense. You must throw two times, and then you must rush it on the final play. So now, obviously, Columbus knows this, and they will stack the box appropriately. And, uh... 
All right, they'll go for three passes. And they will drop all three. So now you have to pray to God that they can kick this field goal. Because if they punt this, well, thank God they will kick it. If they had punted it, it would have simply been agonizing pain and death for us all. It's Alta Morano, Mr. Sure-Footed. We'll collect that field goal. 56-yard field goal is good. I finally put Austin up on the board, and that will close the deficit to 10. So now we sit here and we wonder, can Washington throw another interception and give Austin another field goal? Well, Toronto booting this one deep. And Ellis now with the return. So he's pushed back farther and farther. <laughs> what was a 27-yard gain is now a 22-yard gain. As Columbus now will take over from the 22. And of course, as we all know, these will be two quick passes and a run followed by a punt, more than likely. Go! Washington, back to pass, four-man rush. He actually takes his time, believe it or not. Oh my goodness. And number seven just simply cannot catch the ball. I think if I was the offensive coordinator, I'd be very upset as Michaels had a perfect pass in his hands. Perfect, as Homelander would say. Washington or something. Uh -huh. Chambers in the back. Washington surveys. Got a wide open Ellis, and he'll go behind the line to gain. But he will pause the time for now, and I think Washington is going to hand this off to Chambers, and they'll get an easy first down. I'm thinking they're probably going to run to the right. Chambers is a bit too fast for this awesome defense, but he will now motion uh -huh. Brown to the right, so it's going to be a throw, and Thompson with a great catch, so that was a great play call. In nine years. I think that's the first few times I've ever seen in my life the offense motion a man to the right and actually use their advantage, the 2 on one pass to defender situation. I've never seen that Go. ever as Washington's going to lob this one 24 in on the stop. That's now second and 10. And Columbus might get back into this quick slant throw. I think what is kind of hilarious is the fact that once the quarterbacks throw interceptions, they kind of stay away from that situation. But then you also have to deal with the other part that there's a chance that they do it again and then they get behind. And so then you have this infinite loop of perpetual purgatory unless the other team keeps scoring, in which case then it just gets worse and worse for the opposing team. Chambers is out. It'll now be a pass play. Yeah. Second 15. Washington back to pass. There is a flag down, and Michael is unable to catch that one. And it's now holding. So it's now second and 25. Which, again, Columbus has been known to throw 25 and 27 yard passes. And of course, Washington leads the league in yards per completion. So 17 yards per yeah. attempt. Washington lobbing it deep, and that, oh, Michaels again unable to come down, third and 25. So what was a favorable situation for Columbus, possibly pinning Austin into the 10 and making them go in the two-minute offense has now become a nightmare as Washington is now 8 for 21. Washington now going to hand off to Chambers, and Chambers could do the unthinkable, and he doesn't, so Austin now will call a timeout. We have 51 seconds remaining. I think this punt's going to go to the 25-yard... Oh, uh, no, I'm going to say the... We're going to say the 18-yard line. So we're going to say anywhere between 18 and 25. Yeah, it's going to be the 20-yard line. So Tonkin's going to boot this one at the 22. Vincent will take it back up to the 28. 29, apologies. And Austin will have to move 71 yards. They will not. No, it's a hot take. And we will watch Travolta as soon as he hits his last step in the drop back. Throw the ball. He won't. Incredible. But he will throw to the running back, which is a choice. If I'm being completely honest, um, you have the number one wide receiver in the league and you don't use him. So I think Travolta is hitting that age, if you will. And as Travolta now motions out, empty backfield, so this is an obvious pass play. Four-man rush, got all day. I don't know what the hell Blackman was doing, and I apologize for the language, but I, if you rewatch that play, if you back it up, he took a step forward after he'd already cut in. 
I think he has the over on this game. As Young evades his first ever tackle, gain of two yards, but it doesn't matter. So now Boston will now punt the ball. We are 35 minutes in. There is no way that is right. Well, I probably took like seven minutes to start, so we're probably only 28 minutes in. But still, Arthur now gets the ball, 25 seconds remaining. At this point, you just gotta hope they just get a completion and the time runs out. As Austin's had multiple chances, but the two minute warning now has wrecked both of these quarterback stats. Watched him back to pass, got a wide open, never mind Michaels. I don't think I've seen another man be targeted so often. I actually think this has got to be the most consistent team I've ever seen. Everyone else throws to, you know, they'll throw to 25, to 40, to 13, to 80. Nope. Columbus is straight up 7, out of, seven out of 10 times. It's Michaels, and if not, it's Ellis. And when it's not Ellis, we're running the ball. <laughs> It'll be second and 10 failure, so it will now be third and 10. 18 seconds left. Jalen Washington now approaching the 30 percentile mark, which... That's a stat line for you. The guy who led the league in passing stats has fallen victim to the two-minute warning. Unfortunately, Austin wisely not calling a timeout. So we will burn this clock and we will get out of this first half. Austin will be receiving the ball now. As we sit here and witness the tank bowl, essentially, who can tank the score hardest in all its glory. So Montgomery now will boot this deep past the 10 yard line. Carroll's going to return this one easy 20 yards. We'll get about to the 28. Um, okay, I don't know how to count. The 24, I was right about it being a numerical of four, but it's just times one, not times two. It's triple to now under center. Young in the backfield, and I mean just immediately met in the backfield. Two yard gain. Stray Leathers again, just all over it. They ran... <laughs> The defensive line ran a pinch in the center, and Austin ran it straight into that pinch. There was no chance. Triple to back to pass. Surveying. He's got a wide open Speakman for 11 yards. This might finally start opening up some plays for this Austin offense. First and 10. After those first two drives, Austin has made Columbus punt three times for one field goal. As Young now with a lot of blockers, and instead of, oh, instead of running outside to get a possible 25-yard gain, he cuts in. Interesting, interesting. Obviously, he's a rookie. We can't expect too much from him. However, what I will expect is for you to follow your blockers as Travolta back to pass. He's got all day and seven years to go as Speakman with a wide open touchdown. I, that man had enough time to read the entire Bible in every language and throw the ball and Speakman was left untouched. So the impossible has occurred. Austin drove 76 yards in two plays and has now brought the game to a three-score game. A three-point game. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Altamirano first time he's ever kicking off outside of that rare field goal in which he had to do all the work anyways. Ellis now take it down at the 20. 21 they'll mark him down. I think that's very generous. I don't agree with that at all. So we now enter the third portion. I don't even know what I was saying there. We're at the third quarter entering the eight and a half minute portion of this game. So Washington's got all day. Michaels with an insane snatch two defenders should have been intercepted instead of a nine yard gain. And Washington now probably going to hand this one off to Chambers, probably to the left or inside right. And no, they're going to pass it and Washington gets blown up as he throws to Ellis. I don't know how he didn't get his back broken like Ryan Davis, but he he tanked that one. Third and one. 
Washington surveying the field. This has to be a handoff. There's no way you don't just hand it off to him. There's a clear hole right in the middle. Washington surveying. He's going to run it himself. <laughs> and he fumbled. Oh, no. Out of Wale with the recovery. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Out of a Wale. Oh. QB dive. And you can already tell it went wrong. He ran right instead of left. Adebowale picking up the forced fumble. Now he gets the recovery, and Austin now gets a chance to tie it up as Young now with running room, gain of five. And how the script has flipped on Columbus. First half, nothing but just easy chances to score. This is what happens when you let a team back in and you don't close the door fully. Travolta to back to pass. He's got all day. He's going to launch it. It's going to be intercepted by Whitley. And he'll step out of bounds. And as soon as Austin had a chance, Columbus takes it right back. At the 19-yard line, almost as if they got a simple touchback. Washington now. Chambers in the back. This is probably going to be a run. And it will be Chambers met in the backfield, but it doesn't matter. Taken down, gain of two. Number 84, definitely going to get yelled at and penalized by the head coach after this game. That was a touchdown play, but number 84 did not want to block on that play. It's Chambers in the backfield. Washington under center is going to motion number 88 Thompson out to the left. He's going to hand off to Chambers, who spins away, gets the first down. Oh, third and inches. Oh, my goodness. And if Washington goes for a pass play here, uh, I think the head coach will have to call in and tell him to run it because this has got to be the easiest first down I've ever seen in my life. They hand the ball off. Gaddis. Oh, my goodness. Justice with the biggest stop of his career. And Gaddis is trying to hit the home run. And he falls short on a third and inches on the easiest conversion that you'll ever see in the playoffs. It's a stacked box of six players. And you have one of the top rushing. Let, let me show you. I get it. It's Gaddis. But let me show you what happens when you have an offensive line like Columbus does. That's what happens right there. That's what occurs. And Gaddis should have put Chambers in. Travolta. Oh my goodness, unblocked defender, penalty on the play. Of course, holding on the defense, so it won't even matter, first and ten. I, he could see the defender standing there, he, he didn't know he didn't know what happened. Uh, he just stood there, you know, it's like, the offensive lineman just lets you go, and you look around like, is a guard coming to kill me? Like, why is the center not blocking? Travolta back to pass, lots of defenders, Jones with a snagging catch. Second and five. It was a shoelace catch. As Austin is slowly moving the ball, and by slowly, I do mean slowly. Empty backfield. This is an obvious pass situation. Three rushers. Four rushers. Man on him. Oh, my goodness. Woodward. Oh. Wow. That, that could have been extremely disastrous for Austin. <laughs> Blitzing linebacker on the right side. He was just too delayed on the run. Travolta had enough time to find Woodward. That's an automatic first down every time. Travolta hands off to Young. Jesus. Young gets taken down for a TFL by Connor. Not exactly the start you want to have after a first down. Being pushed just in front of the 50-yard line. This looks like it could be another run. Travolta motioning the man Woodward out to the right. And Young pushing far as he can. Gain of six. Third and six. Austin's trying their best to get ahead of that 40 to get that field goal, but I don't know if it's going to work. Third and six. 18 yards on five plays. Not exactly the stat line you want to see if you're an offensive coordinator. Travolta back to pass. I don't know about this one. Ugh. He had the wide open man to the left, and that, of course, means Speakman falling to an injury with his leg. It's expected return, but now Austin has to punt, and that was their best chance. Some belts and punt this inside the 15. Inside the 10, it'll be at the 7. 
That's just not the type of play you want to do. I get it. You want to shoot for the end zone. He had the man ahead of him, but you got to take the guy crossing over. You wanted that field goal. That's all you needed. So now Chambers will get the ball here. He's going to run to left. Chambers just unopposed. Gain of six yards. Second and four. It's like as if they didn't even expect it. I mean, you're at the seven yard line. They're not going to pass it. Now they might do a little trickery here. They might try to pass it here, which is why you kind of see the linebackers look spread out. And they do. Washington back to pass. Got a wide open Ellis. And as soon as I said that, the linebacker closed in on him from behind. I think it's a lot of good plays here made by the defense, letting receivers get open and then being able to close the distance. Now, of course, you don't want to leave a receiver open, but sometimes it just happens. And I don't know what I just witnessed there. I think Paul was hitting a moonwalk there. My goodness. First and 10, third and 40. Jesus. Third quarter with three minutes and 45 seconds left. Of course, you don't want to have Paul run the ball, but you want to have him receive it. Ten yards, a pop, and that'll be an easy completion of Michaels. Gain of three yards. Second and seven. And now Columbus looking to get past this first down marker. Trying to keep everything in front. As Washington will pitch it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a better situation than that right there. My goodness. Just the widest of lanes. I think I probably could have gotten in there and <laughs> gotten four yards off of that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hawkins, the defensive lineman, injured, but expect to return. I I don't know what to say about that. That was... <laughs> I think I literally saw all seven, maybe eight defenders just emerging like a mosh pit. That was quite the scene. I think as we sit here shy of the 50, we're going to watch Columbus convert this first down and drain even more clock. And Chambers, oh my goodness, 54. Oh, 52, I apologize. Oh, he had him right there. It's unfortunate when you're on the defense and you think a man's got him and you take a playoff and next thing you know, he's hurtled and passed the first down. Right there. It's Washington, back to pass. Could be an offside by the defense. Gaddis, eight-yard gain. And it is. And Vincent, their return man and defensive back, is now injured, not expected return. First and five now. As Columbus, Washington, set up at the 49, just a yard ahead, 50 yard marker. Washington back to pass. Never mind, he's going to run it himself. And I think this well, could have been a touchdown. But unfortunately for him, not enough blocks were made. He ran to the left. Most of the defense was, which is an interesting choice. It's Washington now back to pass. Four-man rush. Got a man blitzing. And that'll be a catch for Mr. Brown. Gain of three yards. Hawkins now returning to the lineup. Vincent obviously being injured is going to hurt a lot for the safeties. Especially the return game. As Washington motions the man out, pitches out Chambers. Chambers is a wide lane. He'll be taken down just shy of the first down, third and one. And this is going to get interesting. I think <laughs> this will definitely be one of those games where it kind of comes down to who can break the momentum fastest. Yeah, right now, three quarters in, ain't nobody doing anything. This will be a handoff to Chambers for an easy first down, and they're going to pass instead for a first down. Never mind. The collapsing linebackers, everybody out there making me look stupid. So, fourth and one. This will be a field goal, obviously. So now Austin has a... Ah, I'd say a chance, but... I'm gritting my teeth as I do so. so. Field goal is good from 49 yards out, Mr. Montgomery. And Speakman now returns just in time for the offensive drive for Austin. 
And I do have to say, this is not exactly the way I envisioned the score to go, and definitely not the way Mr. Reed Option envisioned the score to go, but definitely an interesting take is Carroll pushing forward, gain of 24 yards. Uh, <laughs> have to kind of think, is there a chance this game goes under 40 points? <laughs> It could be. Let's triple the back pass. Blitzer, linebacker in his face, is going to launch it. And Woodward with an incredible catch. Wow, 36-yard gain. All of a sudden, this chance is getting larger and larger. <laughs> That's not the end of the third quarter. 10 to 16. Austin moving and grooving at the 39-yard line. And if not a touchdown, they have at least a better chance at a field goal, but we've seen worse occur here. Travolta back to pass. Blitz is picked up, and that's... Oh, so ready to say that that was intercepted. That was a perfect chance at interception. I think the linebacker, number 57, just kind of wanted to ensure the play got taken down, but man, this close. You can't allow anything like that to happen, Mr. Travolta. Now motions Speakman out to the left. This could be a Youngman Tonight. run. It is not. Four-man rush. He's got time off to Young. Young will get the first down. Eight of ten yards. Be first and ten. So now Austin is within field goal range. And this could definitely be an interesting situation. Columbus only scoring three points in the second half. And Young pushing forward. Gain of 11. 18 yard line now in the red zone and this this Columbus team could, could definitely get upset right here right now this is not something I thought I'd say at the beginning of the game but we never know as young now oh my goodness just the hook and ladder takedown so hard that Tavion Harper is now in Trey Leathers having his fingerprint all over this game if I'm Travolta you gotta pass you can't let Harper put the game on the line with him. Second and 12, Travolta motioning Speakman again. Hand off to Harper. Harper a little bit slower, but again, a four yards, so it's now third and seven. Young is now back in. I think if I'm the OC, I would definitely look into doing that running back comeback route, <laughs> try to gain eight yards or so. But they're probably gonna run in here. Travolta, no, blitz picked up, off to Young. Ugh, that animation once again where they do that little spin around. It's how you know that pass is never gonna get complete. And Austin will now try for a field goal, Ultimarana. Up and obviously good. So now the Austin defense just needs to keep Columbus to less than eight minutes of possession and no field goal and they have a chance. I dare say this could be an overtime playoff game. That's Ultimarana. This one heavily into the end zone. My goodness. And this could be a chance to be taken down before the 20, and it is. Ugh. Loss of a yard there. They played very well in the special teams in the first half, but come the second half, I, I think... I think a lot of things just have started to fall off. We'll see if they can get that momentum back. Chambers at the wide lane. My goodness. Oh, my. Seven yard gain should have been a loss of three, then it turned into a gain of nine, then it turned into a gain of four, and then it turned into a gain of seven. I mean, talk about the ups and downs as Ricky Chambers officially over 100 yards, and he officially has the gracious one, two, three. Chambers pushing people off, not enough. It's going to be third and one. Rashad Gaddis now coming in for Chambers. And this could be a quarterback run third and one. We've seen Washington do this before, but I think it's going to be Gattis up the middle. It's a pass play, and he's got a wide open man over the middle Michaels. 11 yard gain. I suppose if you know what you're doing, go ahead and do it. Left a ton of yardage over the middle. I think if you're Austin, you've kind of got to be fighting the inner demons right now to <laughs> fire some players right now. Washington going to pitch out to Gattis. Gattis, I mean... Is anyone going to grab him? <laughs> Gain of 10 yards. They're fishing at the yard line. Columbus trying to make their motion to put this game out of reach, but they're burning not enough clock here. Only a minute 15 and 30 yards. So it's Washington under center. Four man rush. Delayed blitz from the secondary. Dan Conte, I believe that was, just 
walking in front of the pass. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that one, but uh, you learn new maneuvers every day. Washington, 13 of 33. Not exactly the stat line I think anybody thought they'd see today. Is Chambers taken down, gain of two. It's now third and eight, and Gaddis now comes in. This could definitely be an interesting play call here. If Austin is to stop them, this results in a punt. But if Columbus converts, they will score points. As Thompson's motioned out. Washington, I mean, just swallowed up. There was no hope for that one. Gain of two. It's a shock he even got the pass off. And now they will punt. So Austin will probably be pinned, I'm going to say, inside the 10. I think they're going to pin him around the six-yard line. Tonkin. Oh, shanked the punt horribly. My goodness. 17-yard line. 17. Oh, my goodness. I'm having a stroke out here. They're now at the 17-yard line. So Austin will now take over, attempting to get at least a field goal. Travolta back to pass. Nobody able to touch him. And Speakman with an incredible catch. Oh, my goodness. Seems as if once someone just gets a running start out here, it's a track meet. Austin now in range for a potential field goal should they just run it. Speakman off of three catches, 100 yards. Incredible. Oh, I hate to see it. Number 85 unable to come down with it. I think if they had done that, that, that could have been a 20-16 to 16 game we're looking at. I think that was Ferris number 84, but I couldn't really tell, to be completely honest. Just Travolta is probably going to hand this one off to Young. They don't. Three-man rush. He has all day. I don't know what throwing motion I just saw there. I don't even... I, I, it, uh, I think if you watch that in slow motion, I swear to God, I actually swear to God, I think he threw it backwards. Like, I think he faced away from the player and threw it backwards somehow. As Carroll's unable to come down with that one. This might be a punt. This could be a punt, but isn't a 38, so this could be a field goal as well. Altamirano could save their season. Oh my goodness, here we go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This could be for the tie. Altamirano, does he have enough? Oh my god, he doinked it in. The game is all tied up now. Austin 16, Columbus 16. I don't think this is where the number one seed wanted to be. I do not think this is where they wanted to be at all. Five minutes and 20 seconds left. Columbus just needs to put on a drive. It's unfortunately not even been anything that Austin's been doing, to be completely honest. It's been a couple splash plays. It's been a couple lucky punts. Uh... They had the 4,000 IQ move to throw an interception uh, downfield, which then allowed Columbus to throw an interception, which then allowed Austin to regain about 20 yards on that play as Washington's going to bomb this one deep to a wide open Michaels 35-yard gain. First and 10. I think this is exactly where Columbus wants to be. Tied up. Pressure's on. 11 second play. My goodness. Washington now surveying. He's going to motion the man to the inside. And Michael is going to hand off to Chambers. And Chambers, after a should have been loss of three, he gains four. Incredible play, if you ask me. It's now second and six. Ricky Chambers. I mean, if there's any offensive MVP, it's it's got to be Chambers here for Columbus. As Chambers now is going to get the first down. Oh, they may be short. Oh, third and inches again. So now we have a situation where Chambers is in. Well, got us this time. We could see a change of history, but they are in field goal range. Let's see what they do here. Washington is going to motion Thompson up to the right. Washington back to pass for man rush. He's got a wide open man. I mean, how much more wide open do you want? 17 yard gain. I think this will be the nail in the coffin, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the nail in the coffin. They're in the 20-yard line. I think they're going to put up seven points. I don't think Austin will be able to recover. Chambers get t taken down. And four, Rashad Gaddis now coming in. Uh, Austin has only scored one touchdown all game. 
it was a 70 plus it was a 60 plus yarder off of broken coverage uh, outside of that it's just been a lot of field goals as Washington has all day oh 25 you got to catch that of course that is why they are defensive backs they're not exactly known for their catching capabilities as Washington now with Gaddis to his left back to pass blitz coming he's got a no he does not have a wide open man never mind the way he threw that he was not wide open had he thrown that on the right shoulder or kind of led it towards the right side he would have been wide open but try to lead him over the top and that's just not how you do that with double coverage and a false start against the offense so that'll be fourth and 11 not that that will change this chip shot of course uh, so that is now a 19 yarder so this will probably be what 25 29 yards at most easy chip shot as uh, montgomery kicks it up and it's obviously good i'm sorry i don't know how to count that's a 36 yard field goal Austin, three timeouts, three minutes to go. If they get the ball back, can they score another field goal and tie this game up as Carroll gets a lead block? Oh, he took the wrong angle, but he did get up to the 23-yard line. So now we have to wonder, can Austin keep pulling off these magical deep shot passes that get them all the way down the field just for them to stall out again? Five, empty backfield, three-man rush. Ooh, exotic rush there. Oh, my God. I, I don't know what that was. I have to be completely honest. I don't know what that was. I don't know who ran that. I don't know why he turned around. <laughs> but there we are. Triple to back to pass. Blitz coming from the secondary on the left. He's going to heave that. Oh, underthrown horribly. My goodness, third and ten. Yep, that could have been the nail in the coffin. If you can't stop Columbus on a field goal drive... You have to go down and score, and they've struggled with that all game. Travolta's motion to Carroll to the inside. Massive blitz coming. Carroll with a great catch. 21-yard gain. Playing to the blitz. And Austin now gains life again. That's not what you want to see if you're Columbus. Had him dead to right. Both these quarterbacks just horrendous in the completion percentage. But Travolta gaining massive yards. Going to dump it off to Young. Young will get... Just enough for a first down, I think. No, they're going to say second inches. So this now is the question of what will Austin pull? You only need an inch. <laughs> Can you get an inch? You've got a six-man front. Can you get... No, they're going to... Okay, five-man set or empty backfields. Five wide receivers, basically. Five receivers. Oh, my goodness. Number 84. You've got to catch that. You're wide open. Ugh. Third and in inches, this has got to be fourth down territory. As now we sit here at Travolta under center, we're four seconds away from that two-minute offense that's going to kill any sort of momentum. Four-man rush to the outside. Winslow, three-yard gain, and we will have one second left. I think this AI offense, this offensive AI, knows that the two-minute warning is a curse. So I think they're going to try and get a play past the 40-yard line, and then they're going <laughs> to... All right, first and 15. So now they're not going to kick a field goal because they are too far out, and all they needed was five yards. Now they need 10 yards, and that is not going to be enough. I don't think they're capable of getting 10 yards on this drive. As Travolta now motions Carroll to the inside. Back to pass. Three-man rush. Shockingly. Oof. Thrown too late for Carroll. Two-minute warning. Second and 15. The two-minute offense is here. And now Travolta will drop back. And as soon as he steps back, he will let it fly. Back to pass. Massive rush. He's got a Winslow. That should have been intercepted. A 10-yard gain, and they're making me eat crow all day long. Austin now just has to run it here, not turn the ball over, and they can tie the game up. Alex Winslow, 2 of 4 for 13 yards. <coughs> Travolta back to pass. Four-man rush. Going to throw to Young. Young. Oh, my goodness. 12-yard gain. And Columbus now will call wise timeout as you have to worry about the situation. 
don't want Austin to burn the clock. Granted, they only need a field goal, but there is potential for them to score a touchdown. Travolta back to pass. There is a flag. Could be on the offense. Speakman almost had a touchdown. And that will give Austin a first and 10 for holding against the defense. So now, offense moves back up outside the red zone. And Travolta now looking to tie up his TD to interception ratio today. Just Travolta back to pass for a man rush. He's got a wide open young, but he's going to dump it off to Speakman for some reason. Gain of three yards. He had a seven yard gain out to the flat on the left and simply didn't take it for some reason. I suppose they're trying to burn clock, but I mean, if you're throwing, you're throwing. So, all right, empty backfield. Go! Five receivers. Travolta's going to get sacked. Oh my goodness. Loss of eight, and Columbus now will call a timeout. Oh, third and 16. I think Austin's probably going to go conservative here, run the ball, and kick the field goal. It's definitely what I would do in the situation. I know you want to try to get a touchdown, but turning the ball over is also not ideal. And they will not. They're going to throw it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Speakman and Travolta with the greatest throw and catch of the game. Between two defenders, five wide receivers don't know exactly what's going on here. All that work can possibly be undone here. He's going to throw that. Oh, my goodness. Jordan intercepted. Austin loses the game. Wow. Wow. Three timeouts, but I think we all know how this is going to end. Okay, they go back to pass, and they're going to launch this one. Penalty, though, is down against the offense, P.I. All right. I, I don't know why Austin chose first and 20. You need all the time you can get. I would have accepted the penalty, but second and 10. Here we are. First and 20, sorry. So now you've got 10 seconds less, and now you have to... Okay. Back to pass again. Washington is, for some reason, is going to tackle. That's the five, six, six seconds taken off the clock. So we're looking at 18 seconds total. That's going to give them 17 seconds if they can minimize every single play to six seconds. Don't know if Austin has it in them. They're going to hand it off. Chambers, this is, this is taking longer than they really want. Oh, my goodness. Austin calls another timeout. 22 seconds remain, and it's third and three. That was a second and 16, by the way. Columbus just needs to convert this first down, and they will win this game. Washington motions Paul out. Chambers going for it. Oh my goodness. And Columbus has won. Seven yard gain. Austin will call a futile timeout. And Columbus, despite everything, will move on. There will be no rematch between San Antonio and Austin. Columbus will host yet another game at their home. San Antonio, Columbus will meet up tomorrow. And this is the end. Chambers, offensive MVP. Whitley, the defensive MVP. 28 rushes, 161 yards. One interception, eight tackles, five pass deflections. Of course, you can see the quarterback stats there. Travolta just having the worst game of his career. And he sold at the worst time. Speakman, five for a 137. And Sharp, an in six tackles, three pass deflections. And that will do it. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate you all. We will see you, of course, next week when Virginia Beach takes on St. Louis and San Antonio takes on Columbus. And we will witness how these two teams will shake out. It will be an interesting time. Columbus has been relieved of their owner, so it will be three owners and one league-operated team. San Antonio will have a chance to return to the championship, and Columbus will get their first chance to head to the championship. This is also Columbus's first ever visit to the conference championship, so they will be going ahead and celebrating that, as they have won their division, obviously, allowing them first place throughout the entire playoffs. Though, 
The division exactly isn't tough, if I were to say anything about that. But this team obviously deserves it. They've done everything they need, and here they are. So Columbus heading on as the first seed. Austin eliminated on an interception in the end zone. I'm Cole, and we'll see you all next time.